We just went into April and that means it's time for another monthly portfolio update. And I'm of course, as always, going to show you everything about my portfolio, my best performing stocks for the month, all my recent purchases and all of my dividend income. And March has been a really decent month on the stock market. We have the S&P 500 index that is up by 1.24%, the Dow Jones index that is up by 0.29% and the Nasdaq 100 index that is basically in zero for the month. So overall, then it has been a pretty decent month on the stock market. But let's have a look at how my portfolio has performed during the last month. But before we get to it, then in case you're new to the channel, then my name is Casper, and here we strictly talk about investing and personal finance. So if you like investing and you want to retire early, well then press that subscribe button below. And also guys, please leave a comment below the video and tell me what your best performing stock has been for the month, how much dividend income you've gotten, I basically want to hear all about it, so please leave a comment below. Anyways, getting straight to it, then the last month has been a pretty good month for me, and I now have a portfolio that is worth more than $52,000, and during the last month, then my portfolio has increased by more than $1,000, and that equals a return of 2.12%, and that is a return that I'm pretty happy about. And that also brings my total return, ever since I started using this spreadsheet here, up to $9,200, and that is pretty nice to think about. And it does equal a return of 20.5%. And when comparing my return with the return for the rest of the market during the last month, well then I've basically beaten the S&P 500 index. And that is something I'm pretty happy about. And the goal of my portfolio is to have the performance of the S&P 500 or better. So beating it is always pretty good. I have also received $114 in pure dividends during the last month. And that is from investments like SCHD and Realty Income Corp. And I've now gotten $334 in total in pure dividends during 2024 alone. And that is pretty nice. But anyways, let's talk a bit about my best and my worst performing stocks during the last month. And when looking at my portfolio here, well then we do see that during the last month, then my best performing stock has been Exxon. That is up by 12.70%. And that is a very, very nice performance. And that is then followed by NVIDIA, that is up by 8.72%. So NVIDIA has yet again had a really, really good performance. And that is then followed by Pfizer, that is up by 3.71%. And then we have SCHD, that is up by 2.02%. So these were basically all of my best performing stocks. And now let's have a look at my worst performing stocks. And we do see that my worst performing stocks during the last month is Tesla that is down by almost 18%. And that is a very, very bad performance, to be honest. And that is then followed by Apple, that is down by 6%. And that is a pretty bad performance as well, to be honest. But overall, then I'm not too concerned about it because I do really think that these are some amazing companies and that they're gonna do very, very well going forward. And that is then followed by Johnson & Johnson, that is down by 2.71%. And just like with the other two, then I'm not too concerned about it. But overall, then I do only have four stocks in total that has given me a negative return. And the rest has basically given me a positive return. So I do think that the last month has been a really good one for me. And overall, then I do feel really safe about my portfolio and I really like the composition of it. And I do like the direction that it's going. But anyways, getting into my buys for the last month, then there wasn't really anything crazy here. As you can see here, then I did invest $700 and I basically bought nine shares in SCHD for roughly $80 per share. So there's definitely nothing too crazy here. But I did consider buying Starbucks instead of SCHD, but I ended up buying SCHD instead. But I do think that next month I will be buying Starbucks. So moving on to my plans going forward. And when it comes to that, well then I do plan on investing into more high quality dividend paying companies in order to increase my dividend income but I also plan on investing into more tech companies. And that is because I really do think that technology is gonna be the best performing sector in 2024. And I want to be a part of that. However, I still want the core of my portfolio. And the core is at least 50% of my entire portfolio to be placed within high quality ETFs like the S&P 500 index and SCHD. And I also plan on keep on investing every single month I do really think that it is the most simple and the easiest way to grow your portfolio. And that was all I had in this monthly update. Overall, then I've had a pretty good month on the stock market. And I hope that you've had the same. However, please leave a comment below the video and tell me all about how your portfolio has performed during the last month. What your best performing stock has been. 
how much dividend income you've gotten and what you're looking to buy at the moment. I want to hear all about it. But thank you for watching the video. I hope that you liked the video and see you guys in the next one.